Yeah. Like I said, man, y'all niggas need to goddamn be smoking something, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's cold. Won't lie. Won't stop till the race is won. Alright, so I got my tail lights today. Um, I'm a little disappointed in a little bit of the packaging because I got it and it looked like something was splashed on it. Like, like what's up with that? Did I get some used tail lights? But on the other hand, they do look good. I do like them. I'm just gonna pop them on real quick. Um, it's not, I wish I had an install for y'all to see for me, but I've already taken apart everything. So it's really nothing for me to even show you. All I have is just the three bolts and then a connection to the lights. So let me show you. So like, I took everything out essentially. All I gotta do is unscrew these, pull this back, and then just unplug it. But like I said, it's they look. I can't wait to see this design. I'm like I said, show you some pictures, the videos. I hope I don't have a conversation problem I had when I had the circle Rexium. So my review is for these is, I like them, but there is a gap. So like when I put them in there, there's like a little gap right there. I mean, not so much that I trip really too much, but I did wish they, I don't know why they, I don't know. It's like a gap. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm probably gonna put some weather stripper right there though. Um, but let's see the difference really. Difference. So, I got the lights installed. They look phenomenal. I, I love them. But um, the thing about them is, is that they have that retro look that I've been looking for in a Mustang. If you're not interested into like your Mustang looking retro, I do not advise getting these. These look really good. They look really clean and sleek and smooth. I cannot say nothing bad about them. And they go with the wrap color that I have for my car, which is uh, white and black. Um, I've had the uh, the other Raxium uh, tail lights with the circle ones. I had issues with those with condensation, so I had to return them the first time, and then they sent me another pair, and I put those on there, so I just I say I just give my money back because these they just having issues. I hope that these do not have any type of issues at all. I really like these tail lights. I really like these tail lights. Like I, I like these better than the stock tail lights. I feel like this is what a Mustang tail light is supposed to look like. Um install was easy. If you ever taken out your tail lights before, it's it's a walk in the park. Um all you gotta do is you know the three screws that's holding in the tail light and then the plug that connects in to uh, turn your lights on and off. Um Mine was pretty easy because I already had all that like disconnected because I was ready for these. And plus, I'm like in reconstruction mode with my car. So, uh, like I said, it was an easy install. I can't say no stuff. But, continue on with the build. I got the tail lights that I wanted, the little clean look, brand new ones. I had a chip on my old one I didn't like. So, I'm happy with these. I'm stoked about these. Like, I'm, I don't even know why I said stoked, but I am. Like, I'm, I'm straight happy about these. Like, I like these. look really good. I advise any S550 owner, if y'all want that retro style look in the rear end of your car and make it look more aggressive, I say for sure get these tail lights, these profile tail lights with Raxium. Um, like I said, I'm going to be very more active on my YouTube now, more frequent. So, I'm going to keep y'all updated. Um, I just got a 2015 EcoBoost, but I'm doing mods and I'll let you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, on the road to, I guess you can kind of say getting another car, but not right now per se. Um, but I'm waiting for things what's gonna come out with. They got the mid-engine Corvette coming out. They have the uh, GT500, which I'm, I don't know if I'm really gonna even really interested in being in that. But I've been hearing these rumors about, you know, the new Barracuda coming out. I hope that's true. If that's true, I might be a Mopar guy. I mean, I am a car enthusiast, not just a Mustang enthusiast. So any car that I like, the mid-engine Corvette looking pretty nice. I, 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 I'm going to try to put all my money in that if I can't get it. But keep watching. 
keep, you know, shoot. Just keep watching, subscribe. I'm going to give you some good content. Hey, all love, much love. Who's that creeping through my window?